Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do a little bit of StarCraft. It's mostly just to test this tree. I'm not gonna be on for too long. Please don't get too disappointed if I disappear quite rapidly. We'll do a couple of matches and see how it goes. And first we'll actually close the door. Very nice. Alright. Let's get on this damn ladder, shall we? I haven't ladded in quite some time. As you can probably tell by my pathetic MMR, which looks something like this. I it put me in silver, man. It, oh, whoa, whoa, hang on. That's not Cuba's Protoss. That would be bad. It put me in bloody silver. Bloody silver. We'll have to climb out of that. Yeah, I got embarrassed yesterday by it. It's like, wow, I used to be platinum, now I'm in silver because I haven't been having enough time to ladder, so the MMR decay really kicks in. So I lost like two leagues worth of standing, so we're gonna do something about that. Absolutely, that's absolute bollocks. I'm not gonna have any of that, thank you very much. This will be a good time to do a little bit of stream level testing and things like that. Let me know if there's anything out of the ordinary that you see on your screen. Oh, Altism Stronghold. Apparently this is really bad and terrible to play on for Terran, as Major was telling me earlier. Okay, this is a laugh a minute. All right, well, we'll do what we can. And we'll do what we can. Let's see if I can remember how to play StarCraft 2. U24, that's some kind of code that says, Go fuck yourself. If Reddit is anything to go by, everyone on the ladder these days wants you to die of cancer. So, I'm going to assume that he was being rude. As you can tell, I forfeited my space in the LCS because I am streaming a different game. So, that is, I found it more important, I gotta say, sorry, that's how it's gonna be. I like my Hearthstone too damn much. My dreams of being a League of Legends pro player have been shattered this day. I'm gonna open up pretty standard, like the only way that I ever open. Thankfully, no one's learned that. <laughs> well, random ladder opponents haven't anyway. Which is, we open 12-12 every game because it's a safe build. And I'm not playing against Protoss, that means I won't get Proxy Oracle, which is always lovely. Okay, let's... Get, why is he even there? I don't even know. Get back here, there we go. Doesn't really actually make much of a difference because we're gonna need that gas anyway. There we go, we've actually got some hotkeys. I always feel better when I've got my two hotkeys. Until I don't, until I have that, about 1 minute 50 into the game, I, I feel like I'm not doing anything. And now I can spam APM and feel awesome. Clearly much, much more effective. Ah, 55 seconds of disaster piece. Great. That will make me feel horribly depressed about my gaming skills as it tends to. He's just gone back to mining. What a bastard. I told him not to do that. Get back in there. Absolutely not. All right, well, I haven't been scouted yet, but this map is bloody huge. I could have probably risked a CC first on this map, but in this league, that's probably not a very good idea. All right, he scouted me. If he's going to sit there, I can get a free drone from that Reaper, which will be even more lovely. That's what I'm talking about. This is actually a Legend of Zelda remix. Pretty damn good. Oh, he's still there. Nice, that's a freebie. Can't really argue with that. He's running away! Can't have that! He's going across the map. I'm gonna have him. Oh, my work is all stuck there. Let's fix that. There we go. Attack move across the map. Go! Is that a proper wall off? I think I might have left that hole. That's not good. Yeah, let's try that again, shall we? There we go, that's a proper wall. Oh, we CC down by the ground. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, is there a pocket expo? Oh, I should have CC first on this bloody map. Jeez, there's a pocket expo. Shows you how much I know about bloody alters and what's its face. Oh, Lings, okay. Don't micro the Reaper because I don't have the skill for it, which means I waste AP on, on things that I should be doing. So let's not do that. Let's scout. I guess his pocket expo has been taken. It has. He's not on drones there yet, though. Getting out of this is actually going to be interesting, isn't it? All right. 
There we go. Engineering bay. Alright, so let's see if he's taking the third. And then, I mean, I can't see how he would have. He'd have to have taken some weird ninja third somewhere. He hasn't actually done anything yet, which is pretty good news for me. Supply Depot. I'm not really sure why I'm building an engineering bay. That's not something I'd really considered. I probably should have not done that. So I'm thinking we probably just drop a few, I wouldn't say widow mines into the base. A couple of Hellions, maybe. Hellions Marine. That'll be alright. Yeah, that should work. Okay, there we go. You go work there. Transfer down the bottom. I'll probably just kill him on two bases. Alright, so he's just started his third base. Can we pressure and kill it? I mean, he probably doesn't have a lot of links at this point. So maybe we can. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of links at all. I'm going to lose one of mine, of course. Alright, if I pressure across the map with, like, a Hellion and a bunch of Marines, it will force him to build some more stuff. And I can send a medevac behind that to evacuate out if I need to. Make sure my economy's not going to shit. I want to be a little bit careful with this group. I want to make sure it kind of goes over here first. Send more reinforcements behind it. This is a long fucking rush distance. Alright. In the meantime, two more racks. Good. good. Alright. Boost the medevac across for evacuation. Kind of group together and see if we can pressure that third base. I don't know how... I didn't see that many lings. So it's like I'm almost thinking it's okay. I might be wrong, of course. Alright, that just popped up. Okay. Alright, this is a pretty good group of units. Enough to hopefully do some pressure, assuming he doesn't have any roaches, which he might. Something to bear in mind. I need a couple more of those. Definitely need some more gas. We're lacking on that. Get, get back here. What are you doing? Jeez. Alright, pressure group. Here we go. I was hoping he'd like, try drone transfer or something. Alright, let's try and kill that base. Put these in a decent spot. Make sure I'm actually building units. Kill the queen. I'll try to. Alright, into the corner. Fight as best we can. Which apparently is not that good. Let's get out. Okay, failed the pressure. At least I got more units on the way, but I am short on everything else. Alright, they're all going to come back to the main base. So I want some more Hellions. In fact, I'm almost tempted to get a tank out. Floating so many minerals, it's pathetic. So out of practice. <laughs> He's still following him. What a bastard. Let's take some... Oh, he's running away now. Alright. Did I get my other dropship out? I assume so. Oh, it's actually there. That's kind of cute. It's the bravest heli in the world! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it really is the bravest heli in the world. I'm considering actually going Hellbat. He's going so Ling heavy. Already floating huge amounts of resources. It's really stupid. Got the tech labs up. Good. Okay, let's at least get both those upgrades going. Plus one. That's already an armory. We don't need another one. Thank you. There we go. Gotta get this shit sorted out. Man, I'm just horribly supply blocked. I can't really leave my base like this. Not with this kind of tech. It's not my concern that is that he might have taken a fourth base. He hasn't. Okay. Well. His back might be vulnerable to some drop play, but I'm going to need some Hellbats, I think, before I do that. Just because he is so super link heavy, I can maybe get away with using Hellbats. Okay, get the tank out. That's nice. Oh, muters. Okay, that's bad news because I wasn't at all ready for that. Yeah. 
yeah, this is gonna suck. I can't actually do anything here. I have to pull all the workers, get them back to work. Jesus, mutalisks. I should have seen that one coming. That would have, you know, because that makes sense. His control's pretty good as well. I wonder who I exactly am up against here. Get some turrets up. Yeah, I'm being completely out microed at the moment. Why am I building marauders of all things? That's not going to help me. Need some more freaking turrets. What's the tank? Alright, at least I'm actually doing some damage to him now. That's nice. <sighs> Gonna need more bloody supply depots. Why won't you let me build them? Because I'm selecting... There's a marine in the middle of this group that won't let me select more buildings. There we go. Christ. Alright. Upgrades. Okay, gas counts a problem. Let's get people back to work here. It's probably expanded behind this. I'm still looking for those Hellbats. I got no gas coming out of anywhere here. Oh, I've got a bunch of workers that are doing nothing. I guess that explains it pretty well. Mine gas. Okay, supply dealer problems sorted out. We need minerals now. Get things back together. He has... I would imagine taking a bunch of different bases already. A little bit of a drop. It's kind of creep in that area, so it looks like he's just sitting on three bases right now. We'll see if that remains the case. Where'd he go? Where'd my... Where'd my... I lost my medevac. All right, it's over there. Okay. And I'm also building without add-ons, which makes me a goddamn idiot. Okay, could be good. I am so out of practice. My plan to go to Hellbats is clearly failing miserably. I'm gonna need to get Infernal Preigniter if I even want to consider that. Why are my SCVs going over there? I couldn't tell you. I have three idle SCVs. I need to build another CC, expand to a third base somehow. I'm not sure I'm gonna pull that one off. And I'm gonna do a pretty good drop into the back of the base here. I'm queuing up way too many units. Why am I even building Marauders? I don't need those. Cancel all the Marauders, build Marines, and it'll be fine if he happens to actually have... <laughs> I sat it right in an Overlord, that's wonderful. Yeah, he's definitely not going to see this one coming, it'll be a real surprise for him. Oh, he actually didn't see it coming. Alright, never mind, I'll take what I can get there. That was a pretty decent amount of damage, considering. Oh, and we got one Mutalisk, two Mutalisks. Almost three mutalisks out of that. That actually wasn't too bad. Alright, well, I don't think he's got a massive baneling presence yet, as far as I know, so... I guess things are okay at the moment. You maybe go back and do something useful. That would be good. Okay, we're on 1-1. One, one. We have basically no medevacs to speak of. Maybe an extra turret here and there to actually help out. Otherwise, things are going to be a real problem. We're slowly building Hellbats one at a time, which is clearly going to scare the living crap out of him. Let's at least get these out on the map. The third CC just went up, so that's lovely. But that's probably going to have to be a planetary, because it's at the front against the Zerg. I have no idea how many more bases the Zerg has taken. Doesn't seem like it is any, thank god, so that's a start. Alright, move out here. Try and at least get the tank in a good position. Build a bunch of units. Make this a planetary fortress. Hope not to die immediately. <laughs> oh man, there's not even any bloody watchtowers on this map. That's even worse. I can't even take control of those. Watchtowers are ideal if you're terrible at video games. And I am. Almost maxed, at least. And then we can think about doing a push of some description. We need more medevacs in this thing, though. Okay, are we oversaturated? We are. We can go down here. That's about to be a planetary. We need some missile turrets, because I did see he had a lot of mutalisks. Let's see if he's got a third base with that Hellion. 
Okay, we're at 200, 200. Good. At least in a decent spot. He says, as he gets engaged by everything ever. And Baneling's coming from the side. But I survived regardless. That was unexpected. Did not see that coming. Because I wasn't paying any attention. But I think I got the better end of that fight. Okay, let's get the workers back in. Pretty sure he traded rather inefficiently there. The Banelings came in from the side. We had a decent amount of Marauders in the mix. So I guess that helped out a bit. Got a couple of Hellbats in here. Alright. I think he may have only taken three bases, which is quite cool for me. All right. I have more units streaming out. Let's see if his macro is better than mine. Probably. I'm willing to think that it is. At this point. Go for plus three. Vehicle plating. Probably going to need more barracks after this. All right. Is he taking a base here? Nope. Nope. Alright, so we're going to try and push the third. This high ground looks pretty juicy, actually. Is he really going to let me do that? Oh, I overstimmed. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's try and make sure we get a good fight. I want... Those are my Hellbats at the front. Let's get these in here. So I'm kind of menacing him here. I'm thinking maybe we drop behind his line. Let's drop there. See what we can do. Everyone else kind of gets to stick up here with the Marauders and the Hellbats at the front. Reinforce from that. Make sure we don't get taken out by Banelings. And we're going to lose the entire meta back to a Queen, which is a little embarrassing. Oh, maybe not. I'm not really sure what my Marines are doing, but they're brave souls. I'll give them that. They'll never expect this attack from the front. Oh, look. All their Banelings crashed into my Marauders. Go Marauders! Absorb all the Banelings! Ah! Oh god! Ah! <laughs> no! Split! Split like your life depended on it! It definitely does! I actually may have got the better end of that. Sort of. Almost. He has too many Mutalisks, but maybe otherwise I would have. Alright, build more units. It's not the end. I think I may have crippled him. <laughs> no, Marauders! Don't! It's suicide. Don't do it. Pledge your lives to the crown, but that is not okay. How are those marines still there? What? Where did they come from? Did I... I directly rallied them into the base, and somehow they lived, and that makes no sense, and that shouldn't have happened. Stim! Oh, a lot of dead muters. Yeah! Have some of that. Have it, have it, have it. There we go. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. All right. Uh, okay. I, this is still not going amazingly well, but I do have units. I'm not sure if I can maintain them, but I do have units. All right, let's mule the crap out of that thing. It's a good substitute for real skill. Okay, and you know what might be nice? Actually putting my starport on the hotkey, because then I can add medivacs to the mix, which sounds like a brilliant idea, considering I lost all, but all of them. I still don't know if he actually took any other bases. If he did, I need to kill them. He's on a hive now. I'm not really sure what he's planning on doing with it. I don't even need more gas. Why am I even mining that? That makes little sense. It's probably taking a ninja base in the corner or something. More units. Okay, let's patrol, look for more units. I've done some damage to him. If he's only been on three bases this entire time, he's going to be pretty close to being mined out. You'd have to think. I'm also killing off overlords everywhere, which is pretty comical. Alright, let's kill off all the overlords. Also, I realize this base hasn't been hotkeyed forever either. Alright. He could have taken some bases down here, but... Hard to say. Nope, no ninja bases. I wonder what he's going for. If he's going for Ultras, then I do actually have a decent Marauder count, so I might be able to get away with it. He didn't research Overlord speed, the most important upgrade in the game. Very silly person. Very silly. Right, let's try and gather everyone together. I'm almost maxed out again, so this is going alright. I need to think about taking another base here. This can actually go somewhere else. This is probably okay. I'm keeping it over this side of the map right now. Alright, let's gather the troops together again. So we need to avoid dying to Banelings in a horrible fashion. Oh, God! Ah! 
Split! That's not really a split per se. Oh, we're gonna need more Marauders pretty quickly now. Alright, I think we actually killed most of his really high cost units there. And we didn't really lose any medevacs, so that was actually fine. Let's push towards his third base. We're gonna need more money in a pretty big way. Thankfully, we're about to get that. I can transfer all of my SCVs over there now. Alright, let's sit on the outside of the creep, gather up. Keep building what we can. Hope he doesn't have another 50 Ultralisks. I'm actually surprised we got away with that, but we did. Alright, let's push the third. Okay, he's barely got anything. We're going right in there for a snipe. Third base going down! Focus the Ultra. Kite a little bit as much as possible. Uh-oh, Banelings come in. Stim forward. Pick up, pick up, hot pick up and leave. Reinforcements coming in from the back. That's still a lot of Ultras. Well, I think we're going to have to pick up and leave with all of them, actually. All right. But we are getting resources again, which is good. We're sitting on a ton of gas, so we can afford to get Marauders back up. What's our third base? Pretty much mined out. Main, mined out. So we're currently mining for two bases. That's actually all right. Good on gas. Let's make sure we get upgrades. Might as well. A few more medevacs. Right now, we just desperately need those minerals. Okay, get together what I can. I did take his third base out. I need to make sure he hasn't taken another one. So let's do a sweep around the side. Try and starve out what he's got. Are they see oh, they're doing gas from there. Okay, I was going to say, what on earth are you doing? But I guess that kind of makes a certain degree of sense. Alright, so we're basically looking up here to see if he has any kind of ninja base or anything like that that we don't know about. And if not, we, since we took his third out, I mean, he's got to be pretty low on minerals. He's got a base over here. Okay, that explains that then. Alright, we can actually drop the remainder of these units here. We've got a pretty marauder heavy force, which is quite nice. It could die to mass laying, of course, but we do have a couple of hellbats in the middle of that, so that's going to make that a little uglier. Okay, so units are coming out here. Let's make sure we get a few more Hellbats in this mix, just in case he actually goes for that switch. Things are getting back on an even keel now. I think I need a, definitely a missile turret here, just in case he decides to somehow go back to Mutalisk, although with what gas, I'm not really sure. We could go for a Tech Snipe. Let's kind of swing in behind here. I need to eliminate this if possible. Okay. See if we can take out these rocks and get some more units going. Need to gather everybody up. Can't sit on this alone. Making good money here. We can probably take another base up to the top. Queuing up a little bit too much here. That's abundantly clear. Gonna at least have a level two armor shortly. Okay, he has a base there. That's the first target. Where's my tank? I know I have one. I'm going to put one here at the bottom of the ramp. Don't load it up. No, that's a terrible idea. Let's put it somewhere useful. All right. We're going to snipe that base. Oh, Christ. Okay. All right. Get the marauders at the front. I'm going to send the marauders only up there. Get the marines on that. Split him. This is a good split. This is a really good split, actually. Oh, that screwed him bad. That was a great engagement. GG, yes. Finally. I sort of kind of won a game on the big blue map. Major said that wasn't possible.